Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today things are getting a little weird with this completely bald-headed galaxy look. I'm gonna show you how I attempted to shave my head bald myself and then how I turned myself into this weird galaxy creature drippy thing. I don't even know. But if you want to see how I did this, then we're just gonna jump right in. I really wanted to shave all my hair off so I could paint my entire head. So I attempted to shave my head myself, but as you're gonna see coming up here, I did not do a very good job. It was much harder than I expected. If you actually know what you're doing with hair and you're watching this, you're probably really gonna cringe on how I tried to shave it and my technique because I obviously have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I had to switch razors a couple times because they were not working well as you can see. So eventually I just gave up and got my sister to do it for me off camera. So I just wanted to show you guys anyways the bit of a struggle I went through. I also tried to use this brow razor because I just got desperate and I just, I just wanted the hair gone, okay? So please do not try this at home if you are not a professional like me. Clearly. I did watch a small tutorial on YouTube and it said that you're supposed to go first with the grain and then against the grain, but it literally wasn't doing anything when I was going with the grain, so then I tried against and it, it still wasn't working that well. I mean, I was getting somewhere, but I definitely couldn't do the back of my head by myself. So thank you to my sister for helping me out when I was struggling. And then here I am a couple hours later. Ta-da! I am a true egghead. It is definitely such a strange feeling to reach up and feel just skin on my head instead of hair, but my canvas just got a heck of a lot bigger, so that's awesome. Anyways, so starting off with this galaxy look, I'm going in with a bunch of the cream sticks, or no, sorry, color sticks from Makeup Forever. I'm just placing them down where I want the color and then taking a big fluffy brush and blending them out. So basically the first step for this look is just going to be covering the entire head with different colors and making sure they are blended together very well. So if you are recreating this look and you have hair, obviously you could use a bald cap or you could just do this look on the face and forget about the rest of the head. So there are a couple different options if you want to recreate this. And then I'm just kind of layering different colors to get some depth. So basically I'm going in with a dark purple, a light blue, a dark blue, and then a light purple. And then I'm just making sure to blend them together so there's a nice gradient going on. Um, it is a very weird feeling to paint your naked bald head, by the way. It feels very weird. It's not a feeling that I ever thought I would experience, but hey. I wanted to mix things up, so here we are. Things are gonna get weird this Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just continuing to layer on different colors, and then I add some lighter colors on top of the darker colors to kind of give it some depth. And these are all cream paints, so you will have to set them with a powder if you don't want them to have that shine, and if you want them to last longer as well. But these are some of my favorite products for body painting because of how pigmented and how creamy and smooth they blend out. Now for this galaxy look, we are going to want to place the colors kind of strategically when it comes to certain areas of the face. So you'll notice throughout this tutorial that I tried to keep the darker colors to the contours of my face and the lighter colors to the high points of my face. So even though we are just like going for this space look, we're still having that proper dimension that we would apply to the face if we were doing a beauty makeup, if that makes sense. And this is a look that kind of looks freaking crazy up to the last step and you kind of doubt yourself the whole way through and you kind of just want to give up every five minutes. <laughs> but trust me, it's worth it in the end. You just got to stick it out and it all comes together. There were so many times I almost gave up on this makeup when I was doing it, I'm not gonna lie because there was a couple points where it just really wasn't looking the way I wanted to, but as you go through each step, it begins to come together. So just, just hang in there, I promise it'll be okay. And I decided to add some pink in there as well, just to mix it up a little bit. And then I just basically went as far back on my head as I could see. I wish that I could paint my entire head, but I mean, I just, I can't obviously see the back, so I just went as far as I could see. So I set all these cream colors with a translucent powder and now I'm going in with some water activated paints which I like to do for the more detailed work and you have more control over the opacity of these depending on how much water you add to it. So basically I am just stippling it on with a brush 
and then blending it out with my finger. And here I'm just adding some depth with this black paint. And this is a Graftobian Pro paint, by the way. I really, really like these. So I'm just adding these in certain areas of the face. And then I also took the brush and I kind of splattered it as well, just so we could get some texture going on. So I'm just continuing to do this pretty much all over the face and head in certain areas. And then I'm taking a Chroma Cake from MAC Cosmetics in this bright blue color and I'm going to be adding that next to places that we added the black just to get a little bit more vibrancy. And then here I'm jumping around a little bit because this is when I got to a point where I was like, eh, I don't really know what to do, don't really know where to go with this, but I'm just taking this color ink from Makeup Forever and I am just kind of blending that out on areas where we applied the black just to give it a little bit more texture. So I'm just applying it with a brush and then I am just blending it out with my finger and I am applying this to concentrated areas because this is where it's going to kind of come together and start to look like constellations and kind of like the Milky Way type of a vibe. So I just kind of did that on specific areas. And I'm just doing this really kind of messy because you do want a lot of texture to this look and obviously it doesn't have to be perfect but as you add each layer it starts to come together more and more so I am just taking a light purple and I'm basically just doing the same thing with that I'm applying it with a fluffy brush and then blending out the edges with my finger so it kind of has a nice fade to it and then the white is pretty much the most important part of this look because it really helps it come together and it helps it give it that cloudy kind of galaxy look to it so I am just going on specific areas and I am applying the white water activated paint with a brush and then again I'm just blending it out with my fingers so it has that kind of cloudy look and then my favorite part is going in with the white spattering so I just took a brush and I really watered it down with the white paint to make it nice and wet so it has a good splattery splattery effect and I'm just running my finger over the brush and this is really going to help to give it that texture and help it make it look like stars in the sky. And I really wanted my features to still stand out with this look because when you're doing a look like this where it's an all over paint, your features can kind of tend to get lost. So that's why I chose to go with a white lip. I'm just taking some cream white from Makeup Forever, applying that with a small brush onto my lips so it's going to help make them pop out against all the color that we have going on. And then I'm just continuing to add some white to the high points of the face to help highlight our features. And Make Art Forever just came out with these new starlit glitters so I'm taking the glitter in 112 and I'm just applying that. It's This is like the fun, the most fun part of the look where you get to apply glitter and shimmer and that that's really going to help make this look stand out. So I'm just applying that on certain areas, mostly the high points so the glitter really stands out and I'm applying that to the head as well. And then here I tried to dump glitter on my face, I don't really know what I was doing there. At that point I was kind of losing my mind. <laughs> Anyways, as I said before, I want to make some of our features stand out against all the color so I'm just taking some more white paint and I'm adding that onto my eyebrows, so just brushing that through. And then I'm going in with some of that on the waterline of the eye and then I'm taking that on the upper lash line to kind of outline our eyes so they kind of pop out against everything else and then I wanted to make it appear as if though the galaxy was kind of dripping down the neck a little bit so I'm just taking the same black water activated paint on a small brush and I'm kind of making it look like drips coming down the neck and then after I applied the black I just let it dry and then I'm going sorry this is a little bit hard to see with my stupid mirror in the way but I'm just going over those with the same colors we used on the face just to make it look very cohesive and then I'm just going in and adding some white dots for the star details on the drips. And time for lashes. I really want to make my eyes pop out, like I said before, with white. So I'm just taking some white paint and I am running that on a spoolie on my upper and lower lashes, making sure they are very coated and very opaque. And then I just 
coated some lashes in Kat Von D Super Brow in white. I chose to use that because it is a pomade and it has a very thick texture so it made the lashes very white and very opaque and then I just popped those on, added some mesh contacts and here we are. This creepy galaxy head makeup. If you guys recreate this in any kind of way, please tag me on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this weird tutorial. Let me know what else you want to see for Halloween down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!